Recently, Shin Godzilla made its Japanese terrestrial broadcast debut on TV Asahi. In celebration of the broadcast, the channel hosted a Godzilla General Election program in which 10,000 Japanese Godzilla fans and staff members voted on their 20 favorite kaiju as well as their top 5 favorite Godzilla movies. To me, as an American Godzilla fan, I'm always curious to hear how the Japanese fan base feels about certain kaiju and kaiju films. Although the number of 10,000 isn't a huge sample size, I still think there will be some interesting choices made here, so let's take a look at the top 20 kaiju first to see who ranks where. Coming in as the first kaiju on our list at number 20 is none other than Batra. I wasn't surprised at all to see Batra make it on this list as I know Mothra is very popular in Japan and Batra is just a meaner, more aggressive looking version of Mothra. Let's not forget that both Mothra and Batra are divine beings and not just simple kaiju. Next up on our list at number 19 is Godzilla Saurus. Now this one was a bit of a surprise to me. He only appeared in the Heisei era as Godzilla vs King Ghidorah. I have heard that both Mothra and the young versions of Godzilla have been really popular with female viewers in Japan, so that may explain why Godzilla Saurus and other incarnations pop up on this list. Number 18 was yet another surprise to me. I never expected Varen to make this list. And that's not a knock to Varen either, as he really only appeared in his own solo film, Varen the Unbelievable, along with a quick appearance in Destroy All Monsters. Seeing how popular he is in Japan, kind of bums me out that Toho Studios didn't find a way to include him in later films in the series. Next up with number 17 is none other than Destoroya. It really doesn't surprise me that Destroya made this list, yet it does surprise me that he isn't much higher on this list. I know he technically didn't kill Godzilla, but he was there when it happened and many casual fans and outsiders credit him with killing Godzilla. Here we have yet another surprise to me with number 16 and that is the GMK version of Baragon. The placement of Baragon on the list to me seems similar to the placement of Varen. Both had an early movie with Toho, and then they both show up again later in Destroy All Monsters, except Baragon does make a comeback in GMK Giant Monsters All Out Attack. I can't help but wonder if the cute look to Varen and Baragon didn't get them onto this list, but I think they're both cool choices for the list as well. Coming in at number 15 is none other than Kaiser Ghidorah. King Ghidorah has long been noted as the favorite kaiju in Japan for men, so it really didn't surprise me to see the Kaiser make the list. Like Des Ghidorah from the Rebirth of Mothra series, this is a four-legged version of Ghidorah, which makes for one massive kaiju. With number 14, I was slightly surprised, yet I was really happy at the same time because I am also a big fan of him. At number 14, of course, is Jet Jaguar. Godzilla vs. Megalon was one of my first Godzilla films, so seeing Jet Jaguar grow to help Godzilla even the odds will always be an awesome scene to me. At 13 we get our first incarnation of Mechagodzilla with Super Mechagodzilla from the Heisei era. Easily the most powerful of the three Mechagees in my opinion, yet I think it's the design that kept it lower on the list, but that's just me. Right above Super Mecha G is Kiryu, the newest iteration of Mechagodzilla. I was a little surprised to see this version edge out Super Mecha G, but Kiryu was in more films and did have a really nice design. I think this next one's going to surprise a lot of you guys, especially since this kaiju has been listed at number one in a few different American kaiju fan polls that I've read. Coming in at number 11 is Biolante. At number 10, we start to see more of the Showa era kaiju show up, with none other than Hedora, the smog monster. The pollution infused kaiju only appeared in Godzilla vs. Hedora, along with a brief Final Wars appearance, making this somewhat of a surprising pick to me. At number 9, another childhood favorite of mine, we get to see the Showa era guy game. With such an original suit design, I think you either love or hate him, but to me, it's a welcome addition to the list. At number 8, we get Baby Godzilla, Little Godzilla, and Godzilla Jr. Flying in at number 7 is Mecha King Ghidorah. You just knew King Ghidorah would be high on this list, so it's no surprise for me to see Mecha King Ghidorah. Who doesn't love seeing what cool kaiju we can create by simply adding Mecha to known kaiju names? Rolling in at number 6, we have everybody's favorite sidekick, Anguirus. This is no surprise to me as he's been around forever and he's always been a popular underdog kaiju. 
With number 5 we get the final version of Mecha G with the Showa era's Mecha Godzilla. I just love the design of this version, so I love this placement, but I wouldn't argue with anyone placing the three mechas in a different order. At number 4 is our last big surprise, and it's gotta be the biggest surprise to me. The cute factor obviously has a stronger following in Japan because number 4 is none other than Manila or Minya. The next three shouldn't be a surprise to anyone once you know that the main version of Godzilla isn't on the list. At number 3 we have everyone's favorite irradiated Pteranodon, Rodan. A mainstay and often Godzilla sidekick, this pick shouldn't surprise anyone. Next up at number 2 we have King Ghidorah, the male fan's favorite kaiju in Japan and likely in the states as well. King Ghidorah has been Godzilla's main foe throughout the series. Finishing up on our list at number 1 is the Divine Moth herself, Mothra. With appearances in many Godzilla films, a solo film, and then a three part trilogy later on, Mothra reigns supreme. So besides Manila ranking so high on this list, what kaiju are you surprised that didn't make this list? And what kaiju surprised you by making the list? It's always interesting for me to see how other countries view the Godzilla franchise. Now besides doing the top 20 kaiju list, they also asked fans what their top 5 favorite Godzilla movies were, so without further ado, let's take a look at that list. At number 5 we have Godzilla vs Mothra from the Heisei era. This would be the only Heisei film on the top 5 list. Next up at number 4 we have Ghidorah the 3 headed monster. Coming in at number 3 is the original G, Gojira in 1954. With number 2 we see the Showa version of Mothra vs Godzilla which in many past Japanese fan polls beat out the original Gojira, but the number 1 fan movie in this poll was Shin Godzilla, which isn't a big surprise to me after the film won Best Picture, Best Director, and many other Japanese film awards. Who would be on your top 20 kaiju list, and what are your top 5 favorite Godzilla films? I'd love to hear your answers and comments below, and as always, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.